Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's Drawn to Figures lesson, we're taking a look at a collection of black and white photographs found within our new exhibition, Her Story, A Century of Women Writers. And then we're gonna look over some simple tips and basic elements of black and white photography. But first, let's take a close look at the exhibition. As our nation celebrates the centennial ratification of the 19th Amendment in 1920, this exhibition celebrates some of the most influential women authors from diverse backgrounds whose books have become classics. Many of us have grown up with the stories written by these women found in these black and white photographs. Notice how the artist sets up the lighting for each of these pieces. When you take away color, you're left with quiet emotion. While all portraiture should capture a sliver of the sitter's identity or character, black and white photographs also seem to capture what the sitter is feeling at the very moment the photograph was taken, bearing witness to their state of mind. Consider the different kinds of lighting used in black and white photography. Low light is very dramatic. The highlights in the photograph are the lightest parts and everything else in the photo falls away into degrees of shadow all the way down to total black. There's lots of contrast between the lightest value and the darkest value, but it ends with a feeling of soft, quiet contemplation. Hard light is dramatic with stark contrast between light and shadow. The whites are bright and the darks are deep. In this triple portrait, we see a range of lighting within each portrayal of the sitter. And finally, soft light, which is lighter in feeling. You get a sense for the room or space the person is in without dark or moody shadows or blown out highlights. We can't possibly know where the sitter's mind or imagination is right now in this photograph, but you can imagine sitting in the same room with her. Notice the light source in these series of photos. There's two light sources in this photograph. Notice how both sides of her face are highlighted. Look at how the sitter has a bright light glowing behind her here. She is lit from the front and from the back. The texture in settings and clothing give the images depth and tap into your senses. What does it feel like outside? Or what does the sweater feel like? And what do these element choices say about the sitter? This highly decorated group of women authors are all part of the show, Her Story, A Century of Women Writers, now on view virtually at the National Portrait Gallery website. To check out the show, just go to our website at www.mpg.si.edu and click on Exhibitions. You'll find this show under Current Exhibitions. Thanks so much for joining me for today's Drawn to Figures lesson. I hope you learned something and I hope you get a chance to check out that new exhibition. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.